supercharging your spark plugs. Something anyone can do. I promise. Brought to you by Gadget Man Ron of GadgetManGroove.com and SnakeOil.WTF. That'll surprise you. Ladies and gentlemen, I got an update on wrapping the plug wires for the plasma. And, uh, yeah, I've gone through, well, you now two rolls, getting seven of them finished. I'm going to take the pieces left. I'm going to wrap up the third one, or the final one. Uh, but I found a way to save your fingers, which is what this is about, really. All right, so, man, nothing like pain to motivate you to find a solution for something. All right, so anyway, you take this spool, you see how it's coming off of the back side here, right? Okay, and you wrap it this way. You pull it tight and wrap it like this. Pull it tight and wrap. And it's a lot faster too. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. And I think that that's good enough for now. Well, we're going to keep doing this kind of stuff whenever I can. I haven't been in a spot where I can do development work. But I am now, for at least for a few days. Anyway, God bless y'all richly. And want me to get any ideas, shoot me an email, gadgetman at gadgetmangroove.com. And uh, we've got a wonderful forums section, the Groovy Forums, at GadgetManGroove.com. You have to register to actually see the, the graphics and stuff, but you can go there and browse all the posts on any kind of mileage subject you want and other stuff there, too, just to make your life better. In any event, I want to wish you all a very great day, and I pray God bless you all richly and warmly. You and all in your care. God bless you now. All right, uh, refinement on the wrapping technique. First of all, I've already used two whole spools. It seems like the better you get at it, the more of the stuff you use, which is cool, you know, because the whole idea is getting as many wraps on it as possible. They don't have to be connected, as you can see. On this, I, I had to split for another one. Then that leftover spool ran out, and I tied in the new one here. So... Now here's how it's in. I'm going to re-aim this camera. Alright. So you can see it. Alright. I've got it sitting here. I just every now and then I'll push that out. And then I'll pull the wire slightly to the left where I've already wrapped towards the wire you've already got. And then just roll it. Now I put on this glove because it's taking some of the stress off my skin. So I don't want it with all those blisters. But anyway, as you can see, it turns out a nice fine spiral. Okay, and it's not nearly the work, and it does go a little bit faster. Okay, probably half hour to a plug bar doing it that way. Anyway, I'm Gadget Man, as you can tell, <laughs> and God bless y'all, and we will, oh, we will talk again soon. All right, bye now. Well, hello guys. Now, I have finished wrapping all the plug wires with the copper wire. Now that is one layer of the bifiler technology. There's a second layer I'm putting on. You can see people doing one or the other, but I haven't seen anybody doing both, and that's kind of silly. Because this is the most expensive and laborious part, is the wrapping with the uh, copper wire. That being said, uh, the easy part is what comes next, which is aluminum tape. Now, I'll show you the finished one, which is here, all right, and it doesn't look that sexy. Uh, I'm thinking about spraying it with like, uh, you know, that, uh, what do they call it, uh, Plasti Dip, you know, dipyourcar.com. Yeah, that, don't do that. Um, anyway, but I'm going to start this one. I'm going to start another one here, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So I cut it at about a 45 degree angle because uh, I, I want to keep it kind of consistent, and I can spot a 45. Anyway, uh, I just cut a 45 degree angle off of it. Yep, oh, you can't see this. I'm just getting the paper off of it. Okay, so there I have the aluminum tape. And just pick an end. I'm choosing to start on this end because that's where I started my coils at. And. Uh, here, let me aim this down and get a look at my crotch. Yeah, that should show you. All right, but this is, this is how I'm doing it. 
so I can maintain control. So I hold the plug wire at about a 45 degree angle to the tape and then I just push it down. Now you have to keep it tight on the side that's already wrapped here because it, it starts taking up more space it won't stay at a 45 and that's why it gets all wrinkled deep. Okay? But the adding the uh, aluminum tape to the outside of the plug wires will also reflect a good deal of the heat and make your plug wires last longer. So you're going to get super powered spark especially if you do the copper coils and uh, you just don't just have to put a little bit of labor in it. This is maybe I don't know a couple dollars worth of aluminum tape. It's pretty cheap stuff but you just hold it at an angle and pull it tight on this side let this side run loose and you just live with the live with the damn wrinkles it's gonna be under the hood who's gonna be admiring it anyway and you just roll it like this until you get down to the end and when, once you get close then and I'm sure I could do a better job but main thing is getting that aluminum shield around there to further keep the um, keep the magnetic field contained and amplified to your spark plug. So you see how quick this goes. It doesn't take long to do a plug wire now. So these to say coil on cap designs. No, ain't much we can do for those because you can't get to them to work them out. But once you get down to a certain point and you get to the end, you just take and you cut it. Well, I was going to tear it off this way. And you can wrap it up this way. And then with your cheap little razor blade or expensive one, if that's what you got, you just take and just cut it. I'm just taking the blade, sticking it in there, and rolling it around. Not hard enough to cut through the insulation, mind you. But just to neaten it up a little bit. And then you have a, a shielded plug wire. I just squeeze it in there so it makes it tighter. I roll it up like that. Bang, 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 boom. Now you have Tesla technology for your cars. Well, oh, turning you back up here. Guys, if this doesn't give you something to keep you busy in the afternoons, man, maybe you should get yourself another Xbox. <laughs> yeah, that's the bane on our existence today. Anyway, I'm going to trim this off here and ready to go on to the rest of them. So I've done these four, and it took about, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to get all four of these done. And, you know, I think they look pretty doggone good myself. Anyway, there you have it. That is the final stage on uh, correcting your spark plug wires. I'll say on that note, as always, God bless you. Richly and warmly, you and all in your care. And remember to smile for a stranger today. You will both be glad you did. We'll talk to you soon. If you're ready for something really miraculous, Step on over to snakeoil.wtf. This thing is amazing.